any other thoughts just in terms of, I know these are conversations we'll continue and I look forward to continuing the conversation. You know, what else just in the environment right now do you think is distracting us in, in, as leaders or even as people in terms of where we spend our time? Because we're at the point, there's so much said about generative AI that you can see people click their minds off like, enough, I've heard yeah. enough about it. Yeah, look, um, there are there is a widget for everything. And I think it's easy to get caught up in the widget for everything. Let's just do this little incremental thing here, a little incremental thing there, or I'm gonna do it on my own. I think if today, if you look, all the traditional SaaS providers are terrified of Gen AI. Right. Their business Software model prevents Software as a service it. providers, yep. Software as a service prevents the ability to do Gen AI unless you're using a third party like OpenAI, et cetera. So would a Salesforce be vulnerable? Like what do you- Salesforce is vulnerable. Almost every software as a service company is vulnerable. They're stuck using the lower form of intelligence called machine learning, where it just works on your own data. And now you hear things like- What bring... about Amazon Web Services? I'm not, I just feel like I'm just, this is a game show. Yeah, yes or no. <laughs> but. I mean, they're using, they must be using deep think, learning. Think about what a hard eight months it's been for Amazon. They were the cloud leader with Microsoft a distant second. One deal with OpenAI, and now everyone's asking, why is, does Amazon have no strategy at all? Why did they miss all? Of have the, they missed it or have they just not announced it look, yet? Look, the guys who miss it come out with things like bring your own model to work. Right, and that's what you see with Amazon, that's what you see with some of the biggest SaaS providers that are out there, is they're saying, you do the work. And this reminds me of the hybrid cloud. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can have data on-prem, you can put some in the cloud. How, how has that worked out, right? They don't exist anymore, yeah. right? You're either, you, you realize I have legacy and, or I'm in the cloud. And that was the big thing that's going on right now is the guys who missed it are going to all these players saying, you can build your own, and I'm telling you, Good luck, good luck. It won't work. It's yeah. insane, but it's an answer because it, it gives people the fear. Your data doesn't have to leave your cloud and you can yet still have AI. And what you have is an AI that's been trained on one book, not the Library of Congress. Yeah. It's the stupid AI. And that's what's happening right now, but they don't know how to transition. They can't figure out how do I make it. And their argument will be there'll be some companies that will never do this, which is funny to hear from companies like Salesforce, people saying this. Because what was Oracle, what was uh, Siebel and everybody else saying about moving your CRM to the cloud? They said the same thing. Our customers won't go to the cloud. They're afraid of their data being out of their control. It's the same argument that they're now making about why people aren't gonna go to these big gen AI companies. So the soothsayer in you says, um, then the soothsayer would say, pay less attention to the Salesforce, Amazon. I mean, these are, a lot of companies have their, you know, their hosting, the bulk of your business. Advice for the next several months, just is it to just investigate the use cases of these companies that clearly have invested in this technology? Look, this is again, the single most disruptive thing in the world. So when you hear incremental improvement to anything, run. That is not the person you need to be with. That didn't work for Barnes and Noble when Amazon came out. I don't think it's gonna work for anyone here. What I would recommend is get your feet wet. The one thing you feel most nervous doing, you should test to see if you're right to be nervous or not. It's like Do my grandmother, tests. be counterphobic. Do yes. what scares you most. Good yes. advice. Thanks for joining us, Stephen. Well, thanks for having me, Diane.